What's up everybody, Phil the Winitachi here, you know what it is, and thank you very much for tuning in to another Animal Crossing episode. As always, I am loving this game. However, I need to mass release a lot of episodes uh, because of the holiday Christmas event. I want to get all the Christmas videos out before Christmas and before the event ends, so I've got a lot to cover. i got a lot of episodes to be released, so if you're interested in tuning in, to this series, you're in luck because there's going to be a lot of content coming at you very quickly. And then after the event, if there's nothing going on, if there's no new event for the New Year's or anything, uh, we'll kind of dwindle down to basically, like, at least... Uh, I want to try to get one episode a day, but um, I don't know how the schedule is going to work with this series. But there's always going to be content coming at you, and very frequently. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the next episode, Episode 9, Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. Alright, so as always, starting off the fresh episodes on the uh, the login screen so you guys know which gameplay is uh, happening right now. Um, if there's no login screen in the beginning of the episode, that means this was not fresh. Um, it was carried on from the previous episode, so if you want, go ahead and check out the previous episode. So, so with the big camper over here, um, the login bonus, uh, we got that new camper skin. We also got some time goals and some stretch goals to complete, but I'm not too worried about that. Uh, we are currently level 12. Um, at level 13, we get some cool and unique rewards, um, as always. Usually, you'll get the bells and the coins. I mean, the coins are the bells. And uh, the lead ticket, sorry. Um, but let's just go ahead. Um, as always, what I do in every single episode in the beginning, um, especially when it's a fresh episode, I go ahead and check everything, make sure everything's running, make sure everything's good to go, see if I've got any new friends, all the notifications. Uh, check out the mailbox, see if anything's sold in the uh, the market. As you guys can see, I got fishnets as well as the brand new um, the skin for the for the camper. And there's a lot of event challenges that I want to start pushing out. So I've completed a couple of them just by playing the game. Um, and I've also completed almost every achievement in the game. And it is shocking to actually see that. Um, but anyways, I just go ahead, check everything, click everything. Just it's just a OCD thing that I just want to do, and um, it also gives you guys perspectives on some other things as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and open up. Who's okay? So the campsite's pretty full. We got two more slots open, and um, one of them is gonna get unlocked pretty soon. I'm not too sure if it's gonna be this episode exactly, um, but it is gonna be unlocked very soon. So we will have the next uh, invites to the to the squad. Uh, my Nintendo, uh, ooh, are actually very close, so we should be able to do it at, within uh, the end of this series of episodes that are coming up soon. Um, next up, let's go ahead and, oh, also what I wanted to announce is I'm going to start changing the way the background sound is with my videos. Not this episode, but in a future episode, um, probably two or three more episodes into the future. Um, I'm going to start changing how background noise works. I'm no longer going to be using the background sound from the game because you hear some random things that go on as well because it comes from the mic. So uh, Android, it, it's illegal to um, to record sound. I mean, there's ways of doing it. You can do it. But I really love the app that I use to record the footage because it comes out so crystal clear and it's not easy to find that. So I'm going to continue using this app, and I'm just going to go ahead and change the background music, and it's going to be Animal Crossing related, so uh, we'll get into that. We got all the quests, and we also got the Sweet Life Candy Cane Quarry Daily, so we're going to go ahead and definitely do that, because I need the candy canes in order to complete my, um, my Christmas holiday crafting. So, what is going on? I'm going to start crafting a lot of items, as always, because I'm, going to, I'm starting to get a lot of uh, materials that I can craft a bunch of things. But I want to try to get a new amenity because I have that open slot now that I'm level 10. Uh, but right now I don't have the materials to craft anything. And again, I'm going to start getting into the crafting of the uh, special holiday events as well. So without further ado, I believe that is it. Um, we're going to go ahead and just check out the rest of the campsite. So here's the camper. Keeping you up to date on what's going on with the camper. So we got the upgraded camper. Um, I don't like this style. I'm eventually going to go to the, uh, the original camper, uh, the VW bug looking, uh, not the bug, the VW bus looking camper, but that's pretty much it. I mean, that's my inside of my camper and it looks exactly the same in the other style. So it's not much of a difference. It's just the outside that changes and I like the, uh, the looks of the other one better. So I'm going to go ahead and switch that. 
And also with the other one, you have a cool new, um, whatchamacallit, you got a cool new skin that I can use, so hopefully that looks uh, awesome. Um, but there's also some updates. I know these videos might be a little bit behind. That's why I'm going to start mass releasing these episodes. Um, especially, I, I, to be honest, I'll tell you right now, I am level 22 in the game. So I'm 10 levels ahead of this. And also, there's a garden that's released in the game. So, with what's going on in this episode, it is so far behind compared to what I have. That's how many episodes I need to release. But I am leveling quick, so... I play this game every single day. I play it once a day. I don't go ahead and spam the dailies. So I, if I really did it, if I played this game nonstop, I'd be at level 60 by now. If, there, if you can get that high, um, I know someone was at like level 41, but I can max out this game real quick if I wanted to. But I like to play daily just before I go to sleep, and that's about it. So we're leveling up, getting the coins in. I'm gonna go ahead and talk to everybody that's at the campsite and just double check with them to see if there's anything else that is needed to be done. Everybody seems to be taking a nap, and usually that is because the time zone on my phone is nighttime. So it's most likely you're gonna see the nighttime scenarios within my campsite, and people are gonna be just taking naps. And that sucks because all I do is play this game at night. I might switch it up once, but right now, nighttime is the perfect time for me to play because it's after my live streams. And I have no interruptions during that time. Because it's pretty much right before I go to sleep. Well, that was a misplacement. Uh, putting that light there, I can't get around it. That was AIDS. Let's go ahead and just talk to Apollo over here. And it's not my bedtime, bro. It, it, bro, it, it, right now, I think it's like 12 o'clock. And that's midnight. I got another like 4 or 5 hours, bro. So you hating, you hating Apollo. No need to hate. Alright, so he, this guy actually wanted a lot of hard to get items. I like it when they ask for one of a bunch of items. I don't like it when they ask for a big stack of items. Because sometimes they might not have a big stack of items. But I have one of everything, always. There's no, there's never a time where I don't have one of everything. So I got some notifications, so I'll go ahead and check out those later. Tend to keep them towards the end of the episode, unless I know exactly what that notification is. Like, if I was farming for a notification or an achievement, I'll go ahead and hit it. Um, otherwise, if it's something that I don't know what it is, I'm just going to wait till the end of the episode. Boom! Alright, so... I believe we're done with Rosie after this. Let's just go ahead and chat with her. Yeah, so she, she, Rosie's cool. She likes one of everything. I'm not a fan of the ones that want, like, a stack of three of something. It's just, it's like, why? You might not have a stack of three, because sometimes you can't. I got so many candy canes. I cannot wait to craft this and change my whole campsite into, like, a Christmas thing. I gotta, get, what, what's killing me right now is, so, this is episode nine. I think the Christmas ones are going to be like episode, definitely past 15, so like in between 15 and 20. We're going to get that many episodes out in, it's the 22nd, in two days. So I might release five episodes a day. Got so many Christmas episodes to release, because I, I just don't want to wait until that. And I also got some other videos that I need to release for the holiday, so you guys that are tuning into the channel are going to get so much content this next couple of days, it's not even funny. This episode that I'm releasing right now, I'm, I mean, that I'm editing right now, and creating, you're probably going to get it the day of. No joke. I'm going to simply spam it. Alright, so we got some stretch goals. Rage, friendship level, any animal is six. Got that sports, uh, sports and fish. And, oh, we quite 70 requests. So let's see. Alright, I'm not going to wear that on this character. But we got the Santa skirt. Alright, cool. It's another item down. Alright, let's keep it going, let's keep it going. Um, nothing else really going on here. But I do need some items. Come on, someone must have it. I don't remember if anyone had it. Oh, come on. I don't think anyone had it in this part. I think I had to visit like 50,000 freaking campsites to complete this. Oh, when people don't even use the market box and you have them branded. 
I hope they revamp the friend list. That, it's really frustrating to have to go through all of this to just interact with your friends. Oh man, why do you why do you have to annoy me? Oh well, let's go ahead and uh, make sure all the requests are completed. So everything in the campsite seems to be done. Rosie's done. Goldie, no. Everybody, yeah. So just Goldie. I just gotta hit up Goldie. So you know what? Let's just go ahead and get out there. Start off with saltwater shorts. But yeah, they gotta revamp the friend list. And what I have in mind is they gotta have an achievement tab for friends. You can you can uh, check out their achievements and what they've completed. They have to have that. That's a given. ESPN, relax, fam. But yeah. They've got to have an achievement tab, and the reason being, I want to see how I stack with my friends. This is, this could be a competition type game as well. It doesn't have to be just a friendly, go happy type of game. I want to see achievements from my friends and make sure I'm beating them in this game. And then, um, what else did I have in mind? Besides achievements, um, the market box, we should be able to see and purchase without having to visit them. Um, see the whole market box and purchase without having to visit them. I know it makes sense that you have to visit them so they can just trade, you guys can trade. Nope, that's not, this is, this is a game. You don't have to actually do that. So, achievement tab, market box tab. Um, what else can you do with a friend? Uh, visit their campsite, which you can already do. So, I mean, they got that tab down. Um, visit the garden, they got that tab as well. Um, camper you can do inside the, when you visit. So, there's no point in doing that. Um... I don't really know. I mean, I just want to see achievements and uh, expanded market box actions with your friends. That's that's definitely what I want to see. Because I find it frustrating that you have to go to their campsite or hopefully find them in the wild on any of the given zones and have to interact with them to purchase the item from their market box. And again, I'm a comp I'm a com I'm a competition type guy. No, I'm a competitive person, so I want to um, explore this game and try to beat people that I know and make sure like I have most achievements in the game or something like that alright so everything's done this is my favorite animal in the game right now it looks absolutely the coolest absolutely the coolest it's not my favorite animal in the game but she's definitely really cool now what I don't get is why do all the characters look so uh, like their eyes are just like droopy they're like on some drugs or something. There's never anyone wide open eyes, super cheery. Let's go do. Well, there's actually a. There's probably half and half. But a lot of them are like really droopy. I don't understand the point of that. But Carrie is definitely one of the coolest looking animals in the game. Especially because there's two of them. Uh, kangaroo style over here. So we're getting all the quests done with Carrie. Hopefully we can complete all of them before having to leave this zone. I don't want to see a, one leftover quest before I have to leave this zone. Please, please, please. Ah, I knew it. Monarch Butterfly, are you joking? <sighs> well, we got 24 minutes to complete all these quests, which is going to be not easy to do. It's actually pretty easy to do, but it's, it won't be easy if there's going to be a bunch of quests where I can't complete. So I got to go get a Monarch Butterfly, which is why we came to Sunburst Island next. <clears throat> Wrong butterfly, fam. This is a tiger butterfly. We don't need the tiger. Oh, okay. We're good. We're good. We got carried down. Two monarch butterflies. Uh, fruit beetles. Um, I haven't gotten many rare insects except for the um, the horn thing that sucks off of trees. It looks like a Heracross from Pokemon. A mini version, of course. Sex a sap from trees. Alright, there's no more no more bugs, no more insects. Let's go ahead and uh, get this get this completed. There's so many of these. They need to they need to change the fruit on this island. I'm sick of coconuts. There's so many spawns for coconuts. Let's go ahead and see how many coconuts I have. Um I have eleven coconuts. There's so many coconuts and pears in this game, it's not even funny. I don't need them anymore. Give me give me different spawns. Give me cherries, give me apples, give me oranges. I'm sick of coconuts and uh, pears. There's just way too many of those in this game. Ooh, this is, I believe this is another new one. This looks like uh, a mixture of Big Bird 
and like freaking you put Big Bird and like the Cookie Monster together and you get this thing. So uh, it's another animal that looks high or on drugs because it's half droopy and it looks like Big Bird and Cookie Monster put together. Like that's where it gets the high from, the Cookie Monster, and it's just got the Big Bird look. Got a freaking weird new friends I've got today in this game. <laughs> Alright, cool. Quest number two. Let's get this one in. In the bag. And I believe max level with the friends is 20, so I hope I can hit that with someone soon. Um, and right now, I believe the highest I've got is like 8. So, there's just so many friends to level in this game, it's not easy at all. But the ones that you really want to level, I suggest just go ahead and put them in your campsite. You won't get them leveling up really fast, but you'll get a lot of cool um, goodies from them. Um, the higher you are, the level, the higher level, the more goodies you're gonna get. And also, you know, you'll see them every single day. So it's not like they're gonna be on that random rotation like the pets that I'm doing with these zones. You're gonna see them every single day, so you know you're gonna give them some experience every day. So it ends up um, striving on farther ahead than the rest of the animals. And that, well, that's what I've noticed so far at my current level. Alright, so I believe we're done with, uh, I believe this is Big Bird, Cookie Monster, and it's, uh, Sandy? Sandy! Grease Lightning. Get that Grease Lightning over here. Alright, so, ooh, no, we got one more quest, but we have the, we have the goodies, so it's all good. Why you call me Speedy? I can't, I mean, I kind of run in this game. He walks really fast. Uh, hit us up, hit us up with that request complete. We're getting candy canes. I'm, I'm happy about it. That's what, all I want to see is candy canes. Got a lot to craft, and I'm not going to be able to craft everything. It's going to be a few episodes for me to craft everything, but there's going to be one episode where I craft a lot, most of it. And what's good about crafting the, um... Alright, so she's done. Sandy's done. And, I mean, I'm just going to finish it off, just make sure, but Sandy's done. But what's good about crafting the items for the event, you get things in return. You get tickets, you get uh, candy canes. Sadly, for the first item I'm going to create, it's the snowman. You get the gems. I don't know what the gems are used for yet. I haven't had a use for the gems yet um, that I've noticed or realized. But um, we're going to recap this whole zone, uh, make sure it's all completed. And then we'll go ahead and probably head over back to Carrie, uh, the kangaroo. But hopefully, um, hopefully I keep getting uh, candy canes. I need I need to see some props, like some big props on the candy canes. Because there's a, a snowman, it's the first one I want to craft. I just want to make sure, I, to be honest, I might just be able to craft the snowman. I don't know how well I'm going to get candy canes to craft the rest. Um, oh wait. You can use tickets if you don't have the materials, right? I, I'm assuming. Hopefully that works with, uh event item. I'm not too sure yet. Because if so, I might as well just waste my tickets on that because I don't use my tickets on anything else anyways. So I'll probably, if I can, because I know you can do that on regular crafting, uh, we're going to go ahead and hit back Saltwater Shores and hit up Carrie real quick. But um, I know on regular crafting you can use Leaf Tickets, um, which are the purchasable in-game currency, um, but I'm never going to purchase that with real life money. But you can use in-game tickets, which is the in-game currency, to craft items if you don't have the necessary materials um, but usually they calculate that based upon how much of the current materials you have so I don't know how much it's gonna cost leaf ticket wise I don't think I'll be able to get that much from the uh, the event I'm only getting one candy cane though from like every single request alright this should be the last one my goal is to craft every item of course get every item from winter 2017 event however or christmas 2017 event however i don't even have enough currency of candy canes to craft the snowman yet so it's not going to be that easy and then there's also another item that costs i believe it's the fireplace that costs uh, an absolute lot so carry is done completed that is two zones completed uh, we're going to have to head back to my campsite to finish off the one for Goldie. But uh, we're going to complete everything else before that. Um, but Carrie is done. Uh, I got nothing crafted for her. It absolutely sucks because I want her into the campsite. 
But we're going to go ahead and recap this whole zone, make sure everything's completed, get the rest of the fish that got respawned while I left to uh, Sunburst Island. Come on, let's keep it going. Keep it going. That camper is frustrating me so bad. Oh, I really want to change the camper back. I, I, it just looks like a, a poor person's camper. It doesn't look... Like, if I see that on the road, it's just so old. And I know the, uh, the VW bus is older looking. In some cases, because some people don't take care of them on the road. But, um, if you can see one that's, like, fixed up, they look pretty cool. I, I don't remember if I checked that tree after I left Carrie, but I don't think I did. Now, her camper looks terrible. I'm sorry if you're watching this day, but I don't like it. It's too pink. I've seen your campsite, too. It's too damn pink for me. But I highly doubt you're watching this anyways, because we don't get that many views. But let's hit that smash of the share button, fam. So, Sunburst Island completed. Saltwater Shores completed. Go ahead and do the easiest thing of all time, Breezy Hollow. But back to what I was just saying. If you guys can, and you want to support the channel...